Hello, there's a topic I want to talk about that I felt like uh, was rather important enough for me to make a video about. Um, before I get into it, let's go to uh, our Father in prayer uh, for his wisdom and guidance. So if you'll bow your heads with me. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we come before you in prayer and we ask for your Holy Spirit to lead God and direct, Father. It says in Proverbs, Father, in chapter 3, verse 5 and 6, for us to um, lean not to our own understanding, but put all of our faith and trust in you. In 6, uh, says with, you know, uh, to acknowledge you in everything that we do and that uh, you uh, would guide our paths, direct our paths. So I pray, Father, for your for you to lead God and direct. We love you and give praise and thanks to you, Father, for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in your word, in every aspect of our life. Uh, Father, we pray that you lead us, guide us, and direct us, Father. For you, in whom is no lie, Father, we love you and we give thanks to you. For it is you that gives the increase in knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. In Jesus' holy, precious name we pray. Amen. Okay. Um, do you know how when you listen to, um, let's say you... I'm going to use this. Say a, a song comes on the radio. And they play it so much that um, you keep hearing it over and over and over till finally to where the song gets stuck in your head. And you'll find yourself singing that song throughout the day. Or you have a favorite song that you listen to uh, over and over and over until you know it gets stuck in your head. And you find yourself singing that little tune throughout the day or in your head or out loud or what have you. Well, um, pay attention to uh, what you listen to. Things that, were, that, that are worldly, because what, what that is, really, is if you're not careful, uh, well, let me put it this way. If you start, if you listen to um, things that glorify and edify and lift up God in praise to Him, you feel your, you know, your day full of that, listen to that, letting that get stuck in your head. And uh, you'll find your, and I know this from experience. Uh, because I started listening to, to a lot of children's Bible songs. And um, I got to where I listened to them so much that I started noticing that these songs get stuck in my head. And to the point that I'll go around the day in, in singing them. For example, uh, the B-I-B-L-E, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. Okay, and uh, another one, um, uh, play on your harp, little David, play. Play your harp, little David, play. You know, songs like that. Um songs that are about God in the Bible and different things, well, these, these things will get stuck in your head. Well, what is that doing? Well, when it gets stuck in your head and you start singing these or humming these tunes or singing them you know, either out loud or what have you, well, you're giving praise to God throughout your day. Now, I know an awful lot of people will disagree with me on this. But all that other stuff, what you're doing is you're praising the things of this world. Praising the things of the devil. Uh, 
Now, people can disagree with me all they want. I know there's people out there that will agree with me, and I know there's people that will disagree with me. But it doesn't matter if you agree with me or disagree with me. Truth's truth. And, um... It's important, people. You, you, you need to really... Really think about it. Um, well, um, things that in this world, if we, if we give give it more attention than God, you heard the expression, you are what you eat. Well, it has to do with things spiritually too. Um, and that's where I, I'm going to use myself as an example in this. Over this summer, uh, you know, I had said in the history, you know, I, I was get, I was, you know, for the past couple of years, from the time I went up or got up to the time I went to bed at night, I was studying God's word, you know, with, with breaks in there, uh, of, of course, you know, to, to eat, do other things you need, like wash dishes, do your clothes, um, and, and other things that you need to do uh, in, in your daily life. And uh, but then in your in your spare time you you give um, attention to God studying His Word more than so your hobbies, your um, other things that you want to do uh, that's of this world. I got back into my artwork and, and everything, and I got so steeped in it uh, that I started giving that more attention uh, throughout throughout the summer. And uh, God let me know about it too. And I'll tell you how he did. <clears throat> um, I, I'm one of these type of artists that I have to listen to music to for um, this genre of art that I'm doing. So the style of music I'm listening to... Um, goes hand in hand with what I'm drawing. I started getting in, in back into um, start sliding back into my old art and everything that I, that I used to do and um, God wasn't happy with it and he let me know and I'll tell you how. Um, I did an impulse buy with I'll just get it and show it to you. This little device here. It cost me $400. It allows me to connect this to uh, my computer and literally draw on my screen. And, it's all, and what convinced me to impulse buy this is because in the long run it saves money on buying markers, pencils, refills for your markers, anything. So um, what convinced me to go ahead and buy it was I figured, well, it's going to save me money in the long run, you know, doing my artwork. It's the impulse buy. And... Um, But it wasn't just the impulse by that that God wasn't happy with. It was the style of art that I was I was getting back into, and along listening with the music, that I would be like, okay, well this is this is okay to this too. And I think, no, you're wrong because when you open that door, uh, eventually it leads into um, leads you down the road into slowly and gradually getting into the heavier and harder stuff that you were into before. And this would weigh on the back of my mind and everything, but I was like, oh, I'll be careful. I'll be careful to, to weed, you know, certain things out. You know, no, you don't, you know. Uh, but anyway, my big computer, 
uh, I take good, really good care of it. It's, it's too expensive to not uh, keep it up. Uh, I mean, I would, I would literally. This is how hardcore I was with keeping up my good computer. I would break it down every piece and clean it uh, ever so often, uh, and then put it all back together. But um, and, it, and it worked great. Well. It worked fantastically, you know, all the way up to the point the very same day until I, this came in. And uh, it was working fantastically that morning. My computer, my big computer, big nice one. Even that morning uh, that, you know, this was out for delivery. And uh, it got delivered. And uh, I started hooking it up to the, you know, this tablet to the to the computer, and noticed that the cords were a bit too short for where I was wanting to sit to do the, you know, to work on this tablet. So okay, so I so I shut the computer down, completely shut it down, moved the computer closer to to where I wanted my workstation to be to work on this stuff, and um, got it all hooked back up, powered up the computer. Nothing happened. I said, like, oh man. You know, so I, so I kept trying to check everything. And still, the computer was dead. The um, motherboard went out on it. And um, to me right then, uh, I was like, I wonder, I, I wonder if this, if God is letting me know uh, by this way. So it took me a couple of days of thinking about this, pondering on it, and and everything. So I didn't even get to use this this tablet for a whole month because I I had to either fix my computer or buy uh, another one, which I chose to buy uh, a laptop instead of fixing that big one. I might fix that big one sometime down the road. I don't know, but um, I decided to get a laptop so that because the portability and everything is, is what I want really wanted but anyway so <clears throat> I got to thinking about this and this was God's way of telling me you better nip this in the bud but you know now so I got to thinking about it and it kept weighing on me weighing on me and I did I gathered up everything you know that I can that I didn't think that God was pleased with with my artwork Finished stuff, stuff that I was working on, stuff that was I was almost finished working on. I gathered it all up, I put it in a trash bag, and I went and threw it out in the dumpster. And the next day, the the trash man ran, and off off to the dump it went. And so I had made up my mind. Well, now anything that I do. If it, y'all, I'm not interested in it. If it doesn't glorify God, uh, you know, I may still occasionally draw a cute character here or, or there, but God is going to be the most important thing to me in my life. I don't care about movies anymore. I don't care about video games. I don't care about nothing. I, I mean, I even have a hard time getting back into my artwork. Yeah, you know, I still want to get. I still want to do artwork here and there, but I I cannot allow it, anything to become more important in my life than God anymore. Um, and that's what we need. We really need to think about these things. If if your walk with if you're serious about your walk with Jesus and pleasing Him, you really need to give this some thought. Think about it. You know, you are what you eat. In the Bible, it says man shall not live by bread alone, but by um, every word uh, of God. I may not have quoted that exactly how it said in the Bible, but you know what I'm what I'm referencing, what what I'm what scripture I'm pointing to. You are what you eat. What are you putting in your mind?
we'll still stumble and we'll, we'll fall. You know, we're not perfect. None of us are perfect. Uh, but as long as you're sincerely trying, and, and God knows this, as long as you are sincerely trying to live for Him, He counts it as perfect, people. But you can't make excuses either, you know. Um, you have to try. You, ha you know, your utmost. What's more important to you? And be aware that the devil will put snares and traps in, in your path. He knows your weaknesses. He knows your desires. Um, he knows what he can use against you as a trap and a snare. Don't think that you're smarter than the devil because you're not. And it's only with the the Holy Spirit that you know that we're going to overcome. Jesus is the only way. Um, you have to get out. You have to you know you have to make um, things um, keep things in your mind constantly. And that's Proverbs three five and six. You know, well, let me back up. Proverbs two. Verses, uh, Proverbs chapter 2, verses 5 and 6. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6. John chapter 14, verse 26 and 27. First John chapter 2, verse 26 and 27. Psalms uh, 1 chapter 1 or chapter 1 verses 1 through 3 i believe it's 1 through 3 i think um and many others um it's too important a lot of people are so focused on end time prophecy you know, though, you know that's fine, but there's a lot of things that people need to keep in mind too, that they do not need to forget. What did I do with? Um, I, I can remember a, a, a lot of scripture, but I, I can remember, but I can't remember where exactly. Let me see. Let me try. This is in um, Ma uh, Matthew chapter five. Um. Let me get my books. I don't want to give the wrong verses. Yeah. Uh, Matthew 5, chapter 6, verse 25 and 34. And Matthew 5, chapter 5, verses uh, 43 through 48. When Jesus returns, he's going, you know, he's also going to be looking on upon men's hearts too. Did you uh, love one another? Love your neighbor as thyself as we should. E e even, your, even your enemies. Don't like what they do. Don't show them hatred. Show them kindness. That's part of the part of uh, if you show. It's in the Bible too. If you show them kindness, it's, it uh, heaps coals upon their head. Well, what coals is that? Oh, the, the embarrassment that they go through, the how they've treated you. But look how good you're treating them. Every word in the Bible. Uh, is important every word of it and I promise you uh, that if you allow the Holy Spirit to be your teacher as it should be and stick with it he's going to give the increase not you know as far as your study skills go um, revealing truth to you, you can't you, you have to 
put forth that effort. You have to work at it. As it says in 2 Timothy 2.15, um, you know, study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman needeth not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Once you prove yourself to God, then he's going to start revealing truths to you. And he's going to uh, increase your study skills. But at the same time, you need to pray that God keeps you humble. Uh, and you better admit your mistakes where you're, where you're wrong and stuff when God reveals to you uh, as part of being humble. Because it's too easy for us, for, for people, to become high-minded and come lofty to where they look down their nose at people thinking that, that well, look at me, I know more than you. Uh, you know, no. You remember um, that uh, the the, um, the many membered body has. Uh, we all have different jobs and gifts and, and abilities. Now, a lot of people will scratch it. Well, what's mine? I, I don't know which God. Re a lot of times, you'll be doing it, and you won't even realize if you pray to God that he, he reveals to you what your talents are. Later on down the road, he'll reveal to you and be like, oh, I've been doing this all along. Which, you know, just put your faith and trust in God that he's going to direct your paths. You have to have faith. Faith. That he will. And it says in Hebrews, I can't, I can't remember what, I think it's Hebrews 3. I can't remember what verse where it says, um, it is impossible to, uh, without faith is it impossible to please God. Mm. It's true. We have to go to him in prayer and ask him, to help us with these things, but we have to put forth that effort because if you don't put forth that effort and trying your hardest, even when you fail, you'll get upset with yourself and everything, but you have to pick yourself up and uh, keep trying. All these things I, I've learned through experience. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna share something else with you guys. Throughout my life, you know, I've I've had a I've I've had a really rough walk with things. I never did get my high school diploma. I never even got my GED. Uh, and every time I would try, during you know uh, the things that was wrong in my life, I I couldn't get out of my head. It, it, it was it was torment, and I couldn't focus. I, you know. To save my life, I couldn't focus on any of that stuff. And um, in math, my biggest Achilles heel, you know. Um, but it wasn't an education in men in the world of men God wanted me in. It was an education in Him. And when I finally realized that and surrendered, you know, and really put forth that effort and tried. my study skills, things that um, I never thought I would learn. I started learning. Uh, God is our education. God bless y'all. And really think about the things that, the things that I said. I know all these things through experience. I know how much God has helped me. And what he's done for me. Think about it. Bye. God bless y'all.